Hey, thanks for joining me again. Welcome to the seventh episode. Seven. Lucky number seven. Of what the fuck did Sir Sturdy just watch? <laughs> you gotta tune in to find out. <laughs> Everybody, again, welcome back to what the fuck did Sir Thirty just watch? And I know I said I'm gonna be doing these videos Monday through Friday. I didn't have a video out Friday, and I didn't have a video out yesterday. But I'm going to try to get you a video out Tuesday through Friday this week and Monday through Friday next week. So let's just get started. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different with the background. This way, you guys will have to just wait and see unless you fast forward the video. But, um, yeah, so today I watched three movies. Out of the three movies, I will say the first one I did like, and I'll let you guys know what it was in a minute. The first one I did like, I want to rewatch it again. Um, yeah, definitely want to rewatch it again. I would actually like to do – this is another movie I would actually like to do on the podcast and have a review on it, like give you guys a legitimate good review. You know how I do those. On this, I just tell you if I like the movie or not. But I did like the movie. I really enjoyed the movie. I actually had a good time with the movie. Um, it was the first time watch for me, as all of these were. But this was the first time watch for me. This one, I believe, is considered a cult classic. And the movie I am talking about is called... Ready for it? Are you ready for it? See right here? It's called Chud. Yes, Chud. Again, I thought it was a fun movie. Um, something I would like to sit back and rewatch again, something I'd like to do a review on. Again, I have a list that I'm working on. Oh, sorry about that. I have a list I'm working on. So once this top 50 list is over with, then some of these movies that I discuss, that I briefly discuss on what the fuck this search started just watch. Some of them that I say I want to review, I will be reviewing. And then the ones that you guys request, if you request me to review them, me and someone, you know, one of my co-hosts or someone I have on, or yourself, cool, we could do that. So yes, Chud was the first movie I watched today. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I'll let you guys know about the cover in a little while. Let's get on to the next movie, the second movie I watched, which was, give me one second, let me just get to it. Gags the Clown. Um, this one, I'll say it was, in my opinion, it had its ups and downs. It ended up being a letdown for me. The cover, again, as you guys can see, I'll discuss that at the end. But um, Gag the Clown, I'll say it was uh, definitely worth a one-time watch. Okay at best. To me. Again, to me, it's okay at best. Worth a one-time watch. Uh... It had its ups and downs. It had a lot of letdowns. That's some pretty cool things in it. But I don't know. I don't know what I it just. I just couldn't grasp with. It. There was just something I could just couldn't grasp with it. Maybe I have to revisit it again. Uh, this is one of those ones where, if you want to hear a review on it, it is going to have to be a request because I do not think I would review this on my own. As far as like me saying, yeah, I want to review this movie. I don't think I would do it. But if you guys request it, I will. All I need is one person to request it, honestly. And I will. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that movie. Again, it was okay at best. I'll say that. It was okay at best. And finally, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correct or not. I don't know if it's Cripsis. That's what we're going to call it, Cripsis. Now, this movie was better than Gags the Clown, but I don't think it was as good as uh, Chud. This one's like borderline for me. I think I may review this, but uh, 
I mean, again, it had its ups and downs. I feel like the uh, monster they used in this, if that's what you want to call it, looked pretty cool. I wish they showed it a little bit more, quite a bit more, actually. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It was all right. It was another movie that was all right. It was definitely worth a one-time watch. This is, like I said, it's borderline review. I may review it. Again, one request, and I'll definitely review it. Same with Gags the Clown, but Chud, I definitely want to review. And with that being said, I'll tell you guys my list of first to last for the movies. First, Chud. Second, like I said, this Cripesis movie. Last and least, Gags the Clown. Now, I will tell you guys my favorite movie covers. <laughs> it pretty much goes... Actually, let me get one more glance at these. Oh, this is tough. You know what? I'm going to pick Chud. Chud's my favorite movie cover. Chud is Chud won this one. It's the best movie and has the best cover. And I feel Chud, one thing this does for me, for those of you who know I'm a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, and if you look at, which may, I may pop it up here. Maybe I will real quick. I will. The original cover of the first Ninja Turtles movie and the Chud cover, has some similarities to it with the sword, the turtles poking up and Chud poking up, as you guys can see here. So that's why it's going to be number one for me. And it's a cool ass cover, too. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, so Chud it goes Chud, then Gags the Clown. This I was thinking first, but now I'm thinking Gags the Clown in a second. And honestly, Gags the Clown kind of gives me a Ninja Turtle vibe, small Ninja Turtle vibe from the original cartoon, which if I could find like a little quick little thingy i'll put that up there for you guys but the background with the purple and the clouds you know when they're shooting out of the thing before it goes down all that stuff like that first area when it's first coming on the original cartoon and the cover is just cool as hell the cover is cool as hell so yes and then there's cripesis not a bad cover it's actually a pretty cool cover as well it just had some stiff competition and i mean it's a, it is a cool cover though. It is a really cool cover in my opinion. I feel like all three of these covers are uh, they definitely all three of these covers definitely get the Surf Thirty stamp of approval. Definitely get that. Awesome covers and uh, as I said, Chud, I wanted to do a podcast on Cripesis and Gags the Clown. If somebody requests it, Cripesis is like borderline, so it might be one of those things where once this list is done, if I can't think of anything, I'll do one. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're entertained. And uh, shit, well, Horror Resource 30 Facebook group, give that a check out. Horror Resource 30 Facebook page, check that out as well. The group, feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own stuff. That includes podcasts, YouTube channels, Twitch, whatever it is. As long as it's horror related, post that in the group. The page is more so when I drop videos and updates and all that. Podcast videos and audios, which one will be dropping tonight at 9 o'clock. I will drop the, I'll share that promo around, you know, I get things done. Or premiere, sorry. And then, uh, what else, what else, what else? Facebook group, Facebook page, YouTube channel, as you guys can see. Um... I'm just trying to think really, really, really quick. If you ever want to be on this podcast, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Twitch. I got my Twitch back going. Um, I may or may not be on there this weekend. The whole camera setup won't be ready yet. I have to order one more little piece, and then I'll be ready. So give me a couple more weeks with that. But other than that, which horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. Again, if you want to be on the podcast, horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can hear the podcast. And again, you can see everything on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for laughing. As always, I'll see you in your nightmares. <laughs> yes, I got to take a drink too. Drink some, bitches.